Hello, I am Wallace, the Polish Toy Guy, and I'm starting to come back from my real-life induced reviewer hiatus. Now, I'm not sure how many new videos I will be able to post per month in the upcoming months, but I do hope to make this new review appearance rate stable sooner or later. And until that happens, I want to start with something from the past and something that was partly affected by the poll I made on my channel some time ago when I asked what would you like to see on this channel next if we are not talking about something from Transformers. People selected the option of non-robot action figure, so I decided let's try Star Wars Power of the Force Deluxe Han Solo with Smuggler Pack. If anyone ever asks me, I wouldn't really call myself a Star Wars person. Yes, I've seen all of the movies, I know some of the ideas from the Expanded Universe, or should I say Legends, I know all of the main players from that uh, world, I do have a few books, but as of today I don't really collect Star Wars merchandise on a regular basis, though as a kid I really had a soft spot for the toy line that is Power of the Force. That was around in Poland when I was about uh, in primary school and almost all of my boy colleagues had some toys from that and I really, really liked some of them. And as a result, the nostalgia sort of embedded itself in me and uh, while I'm not really bent on getting everything from that line, there are a few sets that I would really like to have and Han Solo's Smuggler Pack is the first one on the list to be checked off. Oh, it's a bit of an interesting set, uh, especially if we take into account its description, as you can see, you can pause the screen to read all of this. This is a surprising amount of writing for a toy that never appeared in any shape or form in any of the movies that I know of. So that's really some nice effort. And apparently you can cut this off if you so choose, but again, being a toy collector, I'm not really fond of cutting apart my boxes even if I do have to damage them a bit to actually get inside. And yes, this is not something I bought when it was in Poland all these years. This was bought around, uh, I think, five or six years ago from some buy it abroad, get it in Poland online service. And it cost me around $10, so hooray for that. And I think uh, you've already seen everything that's worth seeing on the box and I'm definitely talking too much, but I like to talk about toys. So we've seen all of the outer shell, now let's get our hands on the real content of this set. And the main dish has two parts, Han Solo and Smuggler Pack, and let's start with Han Solo himself, because I really like how this figure looks. Despite having very limited posability, he has a front kick, back kick, something like that. He can swing his arms around, and only that way he can move his head, so you can have a smuggler exorcist if you choose, and he has waist articulation. That's nice, but that's about it. But then again, the toys from Power of the Force line never had any more than that, and we were still content that we had toys from Star Wars. And interestingly enough, this looks a bit like Han Solo in the Carbonite that I've reviewed previously, but we can also see that this Solo is more combat ready, or at least some heavy task ready. We can see he has this blouse, like he had before, underneath, but the top coating, shall we say, is new. And I'm not just talking about the pants collar, though we do have this stripe thing again, like on the previous figure. But now we have also a belt with weapons holster, that's nice and painted. And we have this, I don't know, utility jacket? I don't know how to call it, but it looks really cool. It looks like a combination of X-Wing's pilot suit and maybe something that has a touch of Centurion vibe. It looks great. It's nicely detailed, nicely painted. It looks ready for action. And the face itself, eh, it's quite nice. Definitely Harrison Ford when he was younger. Very nice hair sculpt, eyebrows, barely visible painted eyes. Which one looks better, actually? Uh, I think 
I wouldn't say this is the exact same mold, but still looks very nice and quite alive. So, with that said, let's take a look at this smuggler pack. And I have to say, this definitely looks nice. It fits, in my opinion, the aesthetics of the old trilogy of Star Wars. And yet it also fits Han Solo in that it looks like a piece of junk that was put together on the go. Which is also how it's described in that bio. It basically is a set of pieces taken from various starships, weapons, others, that together grant Han Solo extra lifting abilities, flight and self-defense capabilities. And on paper that works really well. For toy, maybe not so much, but still, this looks really cool with all of these molded details, all of these paint applications. Even if you don't know what you are looking at, you definitely can appreciate the style, the curves, the sculpture. It's just a sort of odd eye candy, at least for me. And of course, being a pack, this combines with Han Solo using this plug in the middle of this nice backrest, so we get our hands on Han Solo, plug him in, close this down, wiggle this up, and now Han Solo is ready for some heavy duty smuggling. And unfortunately, as a toy, he has a bit of an issue with standing in that he can't do it on his own. He will work really nice in your hands, you can probably hang him on a wall, but if you want to put him on a shelf or just get him into a standby mode all on its own, you have to give him some support that will reach the ground because this is just too back heavy for him to be able to pull all of this mass and weight on his own, especially with these small feet. We are going to talk about this in a second. Anyway, the mass of this thing was uh, mentioned in this long bio and the writers cheated their way out of this toy issue by saying that on the bottom of this we have repulsor or anti-gravity units that allow this whole pack to hover around Han Solo so he doesn't actually have to lift it on its own. Oh, I'd like to see him try. And also, this works with these pincer claws that are supposed to grab very heavy objects and move them around. Now, the small issue with this is that these pincer claws do not really work well in their intended front position. If we pull them back, they can actually work as a support piece, though you can't see them from the front, so the whole unit looks slightly less impressive. But, well, I suppose that takes care of that issue at some price. But let's look at this from up close. Very nice details again. I'm not sure if this is supposed to hook up to something, I don't know, but it kind of looks like that. We have a knob that we can twist to use these gears to make this open and close. And now it kind of looks like sort of mechanical wings, but you can't use this when it's on the front, both because we have some cutouts that prevent it from moving, and if you, even if you actually slightly get your hands away from that, if you open this up, you will trigger the guns. And if you do want to properly deploy these guns, you have to get your hands on this knob and pull it down. And these spring-loaded mechanisms inside will swing these forward to give Han Solo very nice four-barreled firepower that's definitely not friendly to stormtroopers or any other adversaries that try to mess with the smuggler. They look really nice, have some really cool details. They are even filled inside, which is odd because many other places of this toy are not. Still, they look cool. Don't really help with the standing thing, but uh, yeah, they really look nice. And the very idea of deploying them, if you can get your hands in the, in the way that they do not obscure the movement, See, it's very easy to do, but if you manage to find that golden balance, just deploying this is quite fun. And, well, I suppose, this can look quite nice all on its own too. So, yes, <laughs> it's interesting to look at, to play with. 
Also, something about the shape of this thing made me think for a long while that if I remove Han Solo from the pack, I could find a way to actually wrap the pack around my wrist to make it a sort of gauntlet thing like gimmick. I don't know. I never really found any way to actually attach this permanently and securely. But that idea is still latched to my mind and I'm not sure if there was ever an intent to make this a roleplay item or not. But it just looks like it has the potential. And I think it's sad that the smuggler pack has no connection points for Han Solo's feet. Because in my head this could really work as a cool mode of transportation for the smuggler. Hmm, and now that I think about it, there is a nice and simple way to make this toy stand in its whole mode. We just take a Tamashi or Figma stand and using the plug for the extra arm pieces, we just dock it inside this knob and now our whole set is resting on the shelf in its displayable form without any issues. And with that said, it's time to start comparing Han Solo to other toys. So let's start with one other version of him from Power of the Force, the Carbonite block version, as well as Iron Man deep dive armor from the Iron Man 2 toy line. For more non-Transformers action figures, we also have Avatar Aang and Power Rangers Retro Fire Zeo Megazord. And speaking of Transformers, here we have Animated Deluxe Swindle and Reveal the Shield Deluxe Redgar. And finally, for real life points of reference, here we have the common cola can and one dollar bill. To sum it all up, I am really happy that I purchased this toy as it has a great nostalgic value and is an anchor point to my childhood. Not to mention, it looks really cool. It definitely has this old Star Wars vibe to it and looks really great on the shelf once you manage to make it stand on its own. As a toy, it also works, but maybe, well, it's definitely designed for you to grab it with your hand while playing because, again, you need to actually make it stand on its own before that's physically possible right out of the box. So, if you like Star Wars and old Star Wars toys, I think Deluxe Han Solo with Smuggler Pack is definitely worth checking out. And that's all for this video. I will be back, hopefully, with the next one soon. And until then, stay well. Polish Toy Guy, signing out. Thanks for watching.